Hey guys, do you love jewelry making, mixed media art, card making, craft making, all kinds of creative, cool, crafty things? Well, you've come to the right place. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit that little bell inside because you don't want to miss anything. Hey guys, Stephanie here. So this is going to be yet another uh, blank, breaking a blank canvas video, a part of the series. And this is the using the cheesecloth and I did some stenciling on it with the Tim Holtz stencil. All right, so I had another canvas in mind, but it did not turn out right. <laughs> it's actually quite hideous. So I'm gonna have to start over and do another, uh, like a burlap canvas thing. I was working on it and I just did not like it. So that's gonna be, you know, in another video in the series. So meanwhile, we will be working on this. And for my inspiration for this canvas is this beautiful picture. This is from the Portrait of a Lady collection that is no longer available, I don't think. And you might be able to find it on Amazon. And if you do, it's gonna be crazy expensive. So I only got was able to get a few papers at the time. I didn't even get the whole collection. I think I got some ephemera and some of some just a couple of papers and that was it. So I cut up these beautiful papers and I may use these in um this particular project. So we'll see. But this is my image that I am using for my inspiration. Alright. So I'll put her right there. Now I am I pulled out some watercolors because I'm not quite sure the direction I want to go with this. I want to have a vintagey look, but it needs to be very pretty. So a lot of the acrylics that I have are just not the right shade, if you know what I'm saying. Like they're just so off. So I'm gonna try some watercolors and some sprays on this and we will hope that it comes out the way that we want it to. <laughs> At least I do, because I don't want to mess up another pretty canvas, okay? And to be quite honest, I probably should have used something else on that canvas, but, nah, yeah. You know, you, you you start doing things, and you start working on things, you're not really sure how it's going to turn out, but, you know. So, now we have another fresh bl blank canvas here that we are going to um, try to make work, all right? So, I've been kind of sitting here deciding what I want to use, and... Some of these pinks, I really want to use a pink, but some of these pinks are so off. I almost want like an Easter pink, but I don't have anything quite like that. So I'm going to go ahead and prep these uh, colors here because I want to use some of these. All right. Now, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to test this. I know it's going to be quite light, so we're going to test it in the corner here. Just a tad, you know, oh, I like that. I actually do like that. I don't want it to be real uh, overpowering because I used another pink and it was just like shocking. Cause I'm, I like pink, I love pink colors. I love using pink in my work and cause it's so girly and pretty, you know? But I don't want it, you know, I don't want you to be able to see it from the moon. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see it from the moon pink. I want just pretty, pretty girl pink, you know? So I think I like this, although this is supposed to be made for acrylics. I'm gonna use some watercolors on this and we're just gonna see how it's gonna turn out. Now I like this, I actually do like this. I like that it's soft and that's kind of what I was going for. Like a soft, beautiful pink that's actually very pretty. I'm very pleased, <laughs> I'm pleased. <laughs> Cause yeah, I was struggling with my layout of how I wanted to do this, my color background, because I want to have a pretty beautiful color to this. So we're just going to do it like that. Um, you know, hopefully it turns out okay. But I like this. I like that it's kind of a soft, pretty pink, you know. So I'm going to continue to paint this. I might use start using another color. So I want to do is... I might have the wrong brush too. Let me see, I don't like that brush. Um, I wanna try this color, like these sort of browns and peachy colors, because that's what colors I wanna use in the piece. Oh, I like that. Cause I want it to have a softness to it, but still be sort of, you know, vibrant and pretty. I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah, guys, I like that. I might be on the right track. Hope and pray. <laughs> Let's hope. 
you know? So, I'm not just doing, I'm not painting this in any particular order. I just want it to have the colors kind of spread out, you know, over the piece. So, yeah. So, I have continued to paint this, and I love how this is coming out. I like that it's very soft and very subtle. Um, yeah, I probably should have done this with the first one. <laughs> but, you know, you, you continue to go on and do things and, yeah, try to fix it and mess it up. So, it's okay. I have plenty of canvases. I got some on sale, as y'all have been seeing in my hauls. So, I have plenty of canvases to work with. I might just turn it into something else, you know? So, but we'll see. But anyway, this one is coming out fabulous. I am just kind of layering the colors, you know, and I am going to spray it. I have some of the distress sprays I'm going to use on it because I want it to be sort of uh, soft. And I, I'm sorry if you hear screaming in the background. My son is downstairs playing with uh, my husband. <laughs> They're doing God knows what down there, playing who knows, <laughs> throwing things and, you know, whatever they're doing down there so <laughs> you know how boys are boys such boys so yeah but I like this I love how this is coming out oh I'm very happy very very happy I want to kind of mix the colors a little bit you know I want to kind of have different intensities of the colors I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna go over it one probably one more time because it is very subtle you know I like that I like this color. This is a pretty color. Oh. So I love that. I am loving how it's turning out because we put our young lady here on here, our beautiful lady, and it's going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. So let's see. What other colors do I want to add? Um, you know what? I think I want to spray this with this tea dye. I like this color because it is, yes, it's like that, like that color, this um, tea dye color. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. And it has a vintage -y look to it. So that's the uh, Distress Spray Stain Tea Dye by Ranger, Tim Holtz. So yeah, and I'm going to just spray this just a little bit because I want it to kind of drip, drip, drip. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I like that. So I'm going to have to use, um, and I also have antique linen, uh, which I like. has a different color effect, but it's in the same family. So, because I want this to, oh, look at that. It's running. Oh, I love that. Don't we love? I love that, guys. Oh, I love it. I'm going to use just a little bit on here. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love that. Look at that. It is, um, has that sort of, you know, drippy, a little watercolor effect, kind of. Oh, I love it. All right. Finally. Got a canvas we can work with. <laughs> Instead of one of them sitting there banging my head against the wall like, oh, what do I do? I don't know. All right. I like that, kids. I like it. Doesn't look like much yet, but we're on our way. All right. So I'm going to give this a little drying time. Then we're going to come back and add another layer of color and then let that dry. And then we're going to judge our, our project up. We're going to put our, you know, our photos on here, our flowers, our sentiment, and all the other fabulous things we're going to make this in. I'm liking this. I like it. All right. All right. All right, guys. So this is our second canvas that we've been working on and it's dry. And what I did was I was been experimenting with it because the color just was just a little off to me and it's still just a little off. So what I did was I added some of this uh, parchment, which is like a beige color. Actually, I thought it was like off white, but it's actually beige. <laughs> And I just really just put it in the corners because I want and I wanted it to dry to see what it looked like and it doesn't look too bad. I don't know if I'm real happy with this, but you know what? It doesn't matter because it's just the background anyway. And that's a, a tip for you. So say if you create something and you don't really like your background, once you start laying your pieces over it, it won't really matter in a sense. Because you're gonna be, you know, putting stuff on top of it anyway. Um 
Like we're going to continue to work on it, and by the time we're done, we're going to be loving it, okay? All right, so yeah, I used the parchment on it and all the other colors that I showed you before. So I pulled out just a bunch of flowers. Like, I'm just literally sitting here trying to arrange things, and, you know, I pulled out some of my little uh, Michaels flowers here. You know, I got burlap. I got my little twine. So I got a, a lot of stuff here, and I got stuff on the floor over here, but I like this. Because I almost want to kind of have, if this makes any sense to anybody, like a southern shabby chic kind of vibe to it. This is what I'm going for, shabby chic mostly. So I like these all together like this. They're just a little smushed. So I have to fix them. <laughs> they got smushed in the package. But I like that like right there. I like it kind of in the middle. You know, I like that um, these, I like these sticking out kind of like that. You know, like I like that that nice little little um, you know bouquet kind of. I like that, and I love our girl here. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put her, and I may need to back her with some cardstock. I'm uh, I'm gonna see here. I might have to back it with something. Um, so yeah, I like our girl, and I'm trying to just figure out how I'm gonna lay everything out. So. Yeah, oh, and I put I pulled out more flowers, some smaller ones in case we need them. Then I thought about, okay, well, let's put this here, like these, kind of like, like that. I just, like, load them on, you know? Uh, where is it? Let me see. Where's my other one at? Oh, I don't know. I had three. Oh, right here. And just kind of load them on, you know? And make a nice big something. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that looks pretty, too, now that I see it. Let me see. That could be pretty, you know, like very, oh, that's pretty actually. And then we can always spray these white flowers if, you know, they're entirely too insanely, um, too much. So we can definitely spray them. So that's not an issue. And I kind of wanted all the colors to kind of flow, you know, it would be very pretty and, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I like that. That's kind of pretty. Hmm. And then maybe we can put like our little ones in here somewhere too. Because this is going to be kind of a, maybe the flowers are too big. Huh. Maybe. It could be that the flowers are kind of too big. Maybe some smaller ones, huh? Let me see. Let's look in our little flower. I know that's, well, that, like this size would be good. I think that's a, that's a nice size. I don't have any more of that color though. Do I? Oh, wait. Let's see. Oh. Like that, that doesn't really match that, but it matches that. Okay, like these two are nice. Has a little glitter on it. Not really what I want it, but or something like that. Let me see. It's a little extra pink. Like that size is good. So we're just kind of experimenting and putting it together here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna add. Um yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna lay it out and then um we're gonna glue it down and that's gonna be the end of it, okay? Let's see. Oh, is that too, that's like way too much. <laughs> that's like way too much going on, isn't it? Like one too many flowers going on. <laughs> one too many. <laughs> oh. You know? But I like, I like a big full something. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I want that to lay. No. I think it's too obvious, if you know what I mean. It's a little too obvious. It's a little too... And I really do want to cover that part up. So, we can do that. And we can do something like, oh, that's pretty. And what I'd like to have is maybe some of the smaller ones coming down. And put our lady friend right here. She's so beautiful. I like that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, I like it. Okay. I might have to spray a little shimmer on it, too. You know, just give it a little, just a little shimmer. All right? I think I like that. So, I am brainstorming here, which is why my table looks a hot mess. Um, I have decided to kind of do this layout, I think, and I'm, I kind of want a nice big bouquet here. And I pulled out some straw. This is dollar store straw. I got this at the dollar store. Oh, this is great for uh, mixed media projects. So all you can do, all you can, um, all you have to do is just grab it, grab out a bunch. And it's gonna re loose here. And what I'm gonna do is just glue it right here in the middle. So we're gonna use our little lady here. And then, you know, the loose stuff we're just gonna take off. Well, like that. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to put a little dollop of glue right here in the middle. And then we're just going to lay this on top. And then, you know, that's it. We got to work fast, though. All right, so let's work fast. There we go. Woo. I need another glue stick. Hold on. And then we're just going to glue our stuff on top. You know? So it'll stick. I like that. So that's what I'm going for. Shabby chic, southern, hummingbird kind of thing. And yes, I have been to the south. I've been to Mississippi uh, a few times. So, you know, that kind of, you know, old school kind of thing going on. Old school, old school southern thing. Yeah. Well, this, this is more of a fantasy thing, though. You know, it's more of a... It's more of an artistic thing as opposed to literal. Not everything is so literal. So if you say, well, I don't look like the South, that's because it's not very literal. <laughs> it's art. Okay? It's mixed media art. But I like that. Okay, because I was kind of struggling with this layout. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like it. Eh. I like it. All right, I'm going to put this a little bit more here. Because I really want this to be, you know, pretty and um, shabby chic looking. All right, we're putting straw on stuff, and you know we're gonna try to make sure it sticks, <laughs> so we have stuff flying everywhere. All right, and then um, we're just gonna glue our little, our little um. Here, you know what? Let me wrap these around so they'll be easier to uh, glue them down. But I like them. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hope this sticks. All right, so. All right, it should it should stick. Um, I've used this straw before. I haven't had any problems with it coming up or anything, you know. But you definitely have to glue it down as much as you can because, you know, you don't want a hot glue mess here. And then you're gonna put some flowers on top of that, all right? Yeah, here, let's put these there. I like that. I might cut those off. I think I will. I'm using my wire cutters for these. Cut those off. All right. And our little smooshed flowers. Are we gonna fluff? Cause we still gotta spray them a little bit too. I think. Or I might just leave them like this. I don't know. I don't see. I want to see how when I once I'm done layering everything, how it's gonna look. I think I need to cut this off. Cause these are too long. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I like that. I like it. Oh, I like it. And then we're gonna put some of this on here. This little um, burlap cord here. I'm trying to um, see where I'm gonna stick it. I don't know. Am I gonna stick it here? Oh wait, maybe I'll stick it here. Let me see how it looks here. I'll see. Um, I don't know, because I'm going to put some little flowers. I want my flowers to kind of... Oh, <laughs> it's stuck there. My little flower's stuck. Oh, I like that. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I'm just laying it out. And then we're going to clean it up. Okay. I like that. Oh, look it, look it. Looky, looky. Okay, okay. I have some um, pink flowers somewhere. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Flowers are sticking everywhere. Let's see. Mmm, kind of a field of hay and flowers. A field of hay and flowers. Let me see. I don't know. Maybe on this side? I feel like I need a flower there. I'll see. Because I really want... Let me see. That's kind of pretty. Just that, that little bit there. Huh, maybe I need another piece of um burlap with a little ribbon here. Let me see. I really like this. I got this at um Hobby Lobby. Let me see. It wasn't cheap either, but it's nice. <laughs> so um I don't really tie it in a bow, I just kinda make it look like it's in a bow kinda and I'm gonna tuck it. Oh I like that. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay, so now, if we could just make that happen. <laughs> well, this is pretty much okay here. I just have to um, glue this down. Okay. Uh, ribbon here stays. All right, hold on. 
all that thought. And I'm going to hurry up and put this one on here because I want it to stick here, kind of. Kind of like that. Did I have it like that? And then I had how many flowers? Well, I had this flower on here, right? And then I had a little one. This was kind of tucked. I'm so tucked under there. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. Oh, guys, how pretty. I might have to put one little flower right there just to... Oh, that one right there is cute. Let me see. Another little white one right here. Let me see. Hay and flower and... Oh, that's pretty. Let me see. I like that. Okay. So let's glue our flowers on here. Uh-oh. I need some more glue. All right. And we have that there. I'm going to tuck our little other one here. Okay. Oh. Some of that little lady on here. But look at that. Oh. That is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to clean it up a little bit here, and uh, it's going to be really pretty. I like it. Yeah, okay, okay. I like it, yeah. All right, and you know what I need? I need like a dragonfly or a hummingbird. I don't know if I have hummingbirds. I have to see. <laughs> I have to see if I have some. Um. Yeah, so, okay. All right, let's see. I think that might be a little much with our lady here. Huh? Yeah. I want her here. It's beautiful. Well, here, how about we just put it here? Is that too much? I think it is. Too big. That's way too big. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, well, here. And just cut off, you know, the ones that's kind of sticking out a little bit. But I like them sticking out just a little bit. Not too much, you know? Kind of that hay, hazy summer kind of thing going on. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, get all the remaining stuff off of it. I love it. I absolutely love it now. See? Sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while to figure it out. I like that a lot. All right. Oh, I like that. Let me see. I kind of want one here and one there. So let me go and dig out some more flowers. And then uh, we'll put this on here. And I think we'll be done. Because I like the way it looks. I want to try to keep it simple but pretty, you know? So I had to go to my stash and pull some stuff out. And I'm going to try laying different things on the canvas to see what looks really good. I pulled out some butterflies, some, some dragonflies, some leaves, and some of these little... Uh, white paper kind of tight little roses and then I pulled out some of these little um, I guess these are kind of like silk flowers so I opened up my big giant flowers for nothing <laughs> so I can put them all back in the package put them all over here out of the way and we're gonna just work with the little ones and I have some double-sided tape to put that down so we'll put that aside for a second now I really like this so let me see let me open one of these and um, see how I'm going to lay this out. Um, I really like these. I've had these butterflies for quite a while. And I said that I was going to spray these flowers, but you know what? Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, pretty. Wow. All right, so I just gave them a little bit of a tint with the Glimmer Mist the Lavender. Just to kind of tone down some of the white. A little bit all right I like that I'm not gonna spray it too much so let that dry dries pretty fast and then I'm just gonna see about this butterfly I might put the butterfly like in there now I want to see about our lady friend here a beautiful lady and um, I'm gonna see they see they don't, they don't really match now all right so I love this though this is beautiful oh look at that oh pretty and put it right there. I really want it on top of the, I really want it like right there, you know? And I like to have that one there. 
Let's see, that one's so big. Oh, wait, where's my other roses? Oh, right here. I don't know if these will look right. I don't think so, because they don't really go with the piece. I don't think so, huh? No, they don't go with the piece. Okay. Well, sometimes you have to try different things, you know? See what works. Uh, sometimes things, you know, go together, and sometimes they don't. I really like this piece right here. And I actually really, I think I'm going to just put a cluster at the top. I'll fix that one. You got to open them up because they get smooshed. <laughs> they getting smooshed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gosh. All right. So I have that. So I think I'm just going to do like a little cluster and then have one there. I think that will work out just fine. If I have one more. I don't have one more, huh? One. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. One more. One more. One more. God, the table is a mess. <laughs> Oh, uh, when you work so, you know, doing all this stuff, your table gets to be a mess. And then we're going to spray these and we put them there. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to put a sentiment on here too. We don't know which one yet. But we're going to clean up our desk and then we're going to finish this off. And we will be done with canvas number two. Okay? I like this series, guys. It's so much fun. We get to do different things and try different things. It's going to be great. It's just been great. So, you know what? Let's glue. Let's not break the wings. <laughs> that was pretty. Let's not break our wings. Oh, first of all, first of all, let's glue our flowers down. Just so they won't go anywhere, you know? And sometimes if you make a mistake on your canvas, you can kind of hide it a little bit when you um, start embellishing. You know, like if you look at something, you say, oh, I don't really like that there. Just put an embellishment over it if you can, you know, or spray it or something. Um, it should be fine because there's some a uh, few things on here that I could probably I would probably change if I did this, you know, did it over. But I still like it, you know. Um, yeah, so this just goes to show you that, you know, things can turn out differently than uh, how you plan them and to be honest with you I really kind of didn't plan it I just kind of just did a free f free flow kind of thing I thought well you know let's just try it and see all right let's take our lady off of here our butterfly out of the way put our glue gun back <laughs> and then we're gonna spray our flowers oh all right oh I like that pretty oh that's gorgeous i'm gonna get our glue strings out of here because they are driving me batty okay now look at that pretty oh it's still it's like a it has a southern feel to it to me shabby chic southern hummingbird this is what i'm gonna call this piece southern hummingbird the last piece was industrial this is more southern humming more shabby chic southern hummingbird kind of thing and I'm going to put some double-sided uh, tape on this lady. I put a little backing here just so I can stick it back here, you know, so it can be stiff. And I'm going to put our butterfly on here. Okay. I like that. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're going to just put a dollop of glue. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. How pretty. Oh. Actually, it did come, turn, kind of turn out sort of kind of how I wanted it to. <laughs> I would say the only difference is this part down here. You know, like I said, I wanted this to be maybe just a little fluffier. But that would be the only thing I would change. Everything else I really love. All right. I love that. So we're going to put some double-sided tape on here. Maybe some, a few liquid pearls. And a sentiment. And we'll be done. All right. I love this. I don't know if I want to put a flower. I don't have any more little flowers for, for our little lady friend here. I pulled out some leaves, but I don't think I need them. Because I think I have enough stuff. I think I have enough stuff on here for everybody. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm keeping this I'm keeping this packaging. Reusable packaging, kids. Keeping all this packaging for uh, other stuff. Okay. All right. That's beautiful. Look at that. Really pretty. Gorgeous. Right, so I put some double-sided tape on the uh, back of the picture because I want the picture to be on the piece. And I'm just peeling it off. It's such a um, pain kind of peeling this tape off, but it sticks great. 
and I want to just have a little bit of, of dimension to it. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right, so we're going to glue this. And I always glue the uh, back of my my uh, pieces just because I like for them to stick, you know. So that's what we're going to do with this. All righty. And we want her to be like right there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Make sure it's straight. Oh, yeah, look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love that. I think these look kind of pretty. Um, I had some that were kind of this color, but I don't know. I'll see. I'm going to stick some on here, and if I can't, uh, if I don't like it, I will probably look for the other pearls. And if I find them, I will finish this off with those, and then I will post it on my blog. So that way you can see it, you know. Let me see. This might look okay. Then again, I don't want it to look okay. I want it to look amazing. That's not too bad. Huh. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're too big. Let's try the other size. I have, I think the other color would look so much better with them. Uh oh. Let's try that. Um, how about this this one? Maybe? Yes. Maybe, maybe. Here, I'll put a couple here. Uh oh. Maybe put like a couple in the corner here. Maybe different sizes. How about that? Kind of make everything flow. How does that look? I don't know. It's okay. I don't hate it, but I like think the other color would look much better. Um, it's nice. It's pretty. So, all right. Um, I think we're almost done. I just need a sentiment. So, all right. So I pulled out my Tim Holtz uh, words called notes. I think they're called. And I really like the believe in yourself one. I just had it. Trust your heart. I like that one. I really like that one. Believe in yourself. Uh, I wanted to go across the top. One of a kind is nice. Let's see. Uh oh. Dwell in possibility. That's nice. All right. So I have believe in yourself, which I like. I actually like that a lot. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. So let me see which one looks better. I think believe in yourself. I can already tell right now. But it's just laying it on there because you can't really see it behind there. This you can really see because of the big poof there. <laughs> yeah. And with the pearls, I think that's going to be fabulous. So let's glue that on and we'll be done with this, honey. This is oh, this is done. This is a done, done deal. I mean, I would put it here, but you can't really see it. You can kind of put it like right there in the center. But I like it over here to the side. I really like that. Like, see? Right over to the side there. So that's where we're going to put it. Right to the side. Oh, careful not to burn yourself when using your hot glue. All right. Let's uh, put this on. Oh, I love this. Let's see. Believe in yourself. Let's make sure it's... Uh, on straight and press down on it and it's good to go all right we're done I love it I love how this turned out a little bit of a struggle with my layout as usual <laughs> because you know it's when it's unplanned it's gonna be a bit of a struggle that's just the way it is if you have it planned and laid out and you know step by step then you should be good but you know sometimes we just want to free flow it but I think it's gorgeous look how dimensional it is it's so dimensional, like beautiful. Look at that. You can hang this on a wall. You can put this on a frame, in a frame or anything. You can even put some more liquid pearls on here, which I might do. So stay tuned, uh, stay tuned to the blog. I'm going to put the link below and I'm going to post this on the blog so you can check it out. See the, the finish finish. It's finished, but I may, you know, like find the other color pearls and I may just put just a little bit of liquid pearls on it and that's it. So it's pretty much done. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me for our Southern Hummingbird or Southern Butterfly, if you say, because this is she's more of a butterfly now than a hummingbird. <laughs> a Southern Butterfly. Because <laughs> we did a hummingbird didn't work out or a butterfly. I mean, a dragonfly and a hummingbird didn't work out. So we got a butterfly. So our Southern Butterfly mixed media canvas, breaking a blank canvas. 
turned out fabulous. It's amazing. So, yay. I'm very excited about this. Canvas number two. All right, guys. So stay tuned for canvas, num canvas number three is coming up. We're going to be setting that one up too. Who knows how that one's going to turn out because you never have a plan when you go into these things. You just sit there and build it and work it out and that's just how it goes. All right. All right. I thank you for joining me as usual. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions or comments on anything I've done in the video or what I use or anything like that, leave them below and I will get back to you. And make sure you hit uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell that's on the side by this by the subscribe icon on all which is on all YouTube channels. That way you'll be notified when videos are first uploaded and you can be the first ones to see the video. So that's what the notification bell is. It's like a little bell. It looks like a little bell. You just click it and boom, all the no all video notifications come in and, and uh, community posts as well. All right. All right. Again, thanks for joining me and I will catch you in the next video. Ciao.